are 5 star characters straight up better than 4 star characters or does constellations matter more than 5 star? I'm Martin Gale and today we will be comparing two of the best DPS units in the game with a twist. A C0 Dillard versus a maxed out C6 Fischl. Here are the stats of our competitors. Let's start off with Dillard. Top of every single DPS tier list, rumored to be the hardest hitting unit in the game. Also being Pyro which gives him access to Melt and Vaporize. Two of the best reactions in this game, which can effectively double his burst damage if done correctly. He also awakens into crit rate, which is insane because crit damage is effectively the most overpowered multiplier in this game, as it is applied last in the damage calculation formula. Finally, his ultimate converts all his autos into pyro, making him a beast at triggering elemental reactions and cutting through late game bosses and elites with high physical defense. On the other side of the ring, we have Fischl, one of the most versatile 4 stars in the game, being able to act as a main DPS or a supportive DPS. Fischl has the highest base damage of any 4 stars released as of 1.1, having 227 at level 80. She also awakens into attack, making it easy to get a ridiculous attack stat number on her. Fischl's main strength lies not with her, but within her faithful companion Oz. The constellations give her a huge damage boost, mainly C4 which gives her ulti 222 bonus electro damage on top of its existing multiplier, which is currently sitting at 354%, which brings the total damage up to 576%. But that's not the big one. Her C6 is the big Bertha of her arsenal, which allows Oz to deal 30% of Fischl's attack whenever an auto attack is performed by either Fischl or any of her party members. This attack does not interfere with Oz's regular attack timings, resulting in a barrage of numbers which seemingly shreds any foe standing in Fischl's way while also screwing with our eyes. First, we're gonna do a pure 1v1 damage test and see who comes out ahead. I'm excited to see how this goes. Let's go. Well, I was not expecting that outcome, Fischl came out way ahead. With that being said, Genshin is not a pure 1v1 game. Utilizing elemental reactions, setups, buffs, swapping between characters while juggling skills are all core gameplay mechanics of the Genshin impact that we know and love. So now we'll see how both of them perform in a team setup as the main DPS. Helping out Dillard will be Bennett, Xiangling, and Barbara. Bennett will go first, providing an insane attack buff in an area then Xiangling will reduce the boss's pyro res and also provide more pyro damage bonus, followed up by Barbara to boost attack with her attack buff and the buff from the thrilling tails of the dragon slayers, one of the most insane 3 star weapons out there. Finally, Dillard will come in guns blazing and do his thing. Next up is Fischl. I'm using the same supporting cast for a more similar result. It's important to note that while Fischl doesn't benefit from pyro damage bonus from Xiangling, it does enable her to do overload damage, allowing Fischl to make her electrifying entrance and steal the show. Wow, that was closer than I thought. They were neck and neck, but I think Fischl came out ahead like a millisecond or something insane like that. I guess constellations are more important than rarity, or maybe Fischl is just OP. With that being said, the ongoing event is giving out a free Fischl. She's amazing even at base, and if you already have her, great. That is one step closer to maxing out her constellations for free. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel. 
I will be posting more Genshin Impact videos in the future. I have been saving up for Zhongli, so when he drops, there will be a huge summoning video for him. Thanks for watching.